So let's take a look at how to create a bill in QuickBooks Online, or we might refer to it as accounts payable, because whenever someone sends you a bill and you're not gonna pay it right away, but you don't want to forget about it, you can enter it as an accounts payable or as QuickBooks Online calls it, a bill. So therefore it's there setting for you to be able to pay. You can keep track of what you are owing for and then also depending on your type of accounting whether it's accrual or cash basis which is for a completely different video it can affect your financial statements as well so let's go ahead and dig in and let's take a look so when we do this we are going to go to the expense tab in quickbooks online and we're going to go to expenses but let's take a side note here real quick and in a separate video we showed you how to set up a vendor because you have to have vendors set up in order to create a bill in QuickBooks so let's go to expenses so this is gonna list there's a list down here of all of our expenses that have been paid through here for now but if we want to pay attention and we want to come over here to new transaction and we want to create a bill because we're not ready to pay it, but we want to get it into our system. So we're going to go to bill and we're going to choose our vendor that we've already got set up. And if on that vendor screen you had set up a address, it's going to show up right here. So we already have it set up. We have our address. We also have our terms. So the terms is whenever you get that bill in the mail and it has a due date on it, and then also under that due date, it may say net 30, net 15. That means you have to pay that bill within 15 days of receiving it or 30 days of receiving it. So that is the due date. So we already set up, we know this company, they want us to pay them within 30 days. So it's already set up to net 30 for that. So the date the bill is, the due date, you can change these things to accommodate for what that bill actually says. If you have a bill number, you can enter that here if you'd like. And then down here under category, this would also be referred to as chart of accounts if you're familiar with that term. But this is what is the bill for? How do we wanna categorize it? So it shows up on our profit and loss statement in the right category. Or it could be something that was gonna show up on your balance sheet as well. So right here, this company, it's tagged to insurance, which is actually correct. We want it to be insurance, but if it needed to be something else, we could click on that down arrow and come find what it needs to be. And then we're gonna tab through. If we wanna put a description in here that this is for um, April, April billing. And then we can put in the amount of whatever we would like it to be. You have the option, if you have a bill to enter and you actually are buying multiple things, so it needs to be categorized out different ways. You may be paying for um, something may need to be a repair and a supply. You can have multiple lines here. So you can go ahead and add another line with another amount. You just want to make sure your total is actually how much you owe on that total bill. So then we scroll on down. If you wanna put in memos, you can. You also have the ability to add attachments. So if you want to scan in your invoice that you got from your um, vendor and attach it here, you can. And then that way, if you come back to this bill and you're like, mm, what was that for again? You would be able to click on it and see. So then you have the option down at the bottom. You can make this reoccurring to where it automatically enters this bill for you whenever you tell it to. And then you have the option of save and schedule payment. So you can schedule the payment out to pay. You can save a new if you want to enter a new one or just save and close. And when you save and close, it's gonna take you back to your regular expense screen. And so now you see that this is listed right here at the top because this is in date order. It's what we just did. It says it's a bill, says who it's to, and how much. So then you have the option of scheduling that payment again. You can mark it as paid if you paid it and you had already entered it in QuickBooks maybe, maybe you need to mark it paid, whatever the reason would be. That right there is how you do that. So that is the easiest way to enter a bill into QuickBooks to keep track of what your expenses are. That way you know you can take a look and say, okay, what are my upcoming bills that I need to pay? So you can take a look for uh, profit and loss reasoning and for cash flow reasoning. Like our video, subscribe, hit the bell up in the corner and have a great day.